WWE 2K19 on low end PC. Is it possible to run WWE 2K19 on low end PC? If it is possible then how smooth it will run. How many FPS we will get? Or it's not possible to run it on low PC, in this video we will see if WWE 2K19 runs on low PC or not. And what we can do to make it run on low PC with playable FPS. I'm going to run this game on both. Low PC and high PC. So then you guys will decide to download the game. Or upgrading your PC is worth to play the game. So any further ado let's start the video. But before starting I wanted to inform you that I have also made a video on WWE 2K18 and WWE 2K17 Well in case of WWE 2K18 We got no problem at all I mean there was no errors and the game was playable on the low end PC And we didn't do any sort of hacks to make WWE 2K18 run smooth I will leave a link for WWE 2K18 video in the description so you clear your doubts on it but right now let's talk about 2K19. What is the main thing that makes some of the games work on low-end PC and some not? The thing is, optimization, well if a game is well optimized then you can run it on low-end PC. But if a game is bad optimized then even on high PC it will give you some lags. So if you are thinking what games are well optimized and what are bad optimized. Then here is a simple answer. Newer games are bad optimized and old games are well optimized, as an example. GTA 5 run on any PC nowadays. But newer titles like, Assassin's Creed Odyssey or Battlefield 5, will only be able to run on high-end PC. So is WWE 2K19 optimized or not? 2K19 is not a new game right now, and also not the old one. I mean right now it is latest 2K game of WWE, but it's been 9 months that it has been released. First we will see the requirements of WWE 2K19. It needs an i5 third generation processor. And at least, 2 GB video memory. So let me tell you the specs of my current PC. I have Intel Core i5 second generation processor. And I'm using 4 GB of RAM to test the game, don't worry if you have lower processor than mine, because everyone knows that the main thing to run the games is graphic card. I'm going to add a decent graphic card on this PC. First I will test the game on GDDR5 graphic card and then, I will run it on DDR3 card. So I'm going to add 1 GB GDDR5 graphic card. It's GDX750 non-TI version, with 1 GB GDDR5 RAM and 128 bit. Let's check WWE 2K19 on this card, but first let's do some tricks to get full potential of this PC. First thing you have to do is, search power and sleep settings. Then on the side click, additional power settings. And then click on, show additional plans, and then choose ultimate performance. For some people they don't have that ultimate performance, they can go with high performance, Next thing is you have to make sure your graphic drivers are updated, go to Google, type your graphic card name, and check if you have the latest driver or not. Next thing you want to do is, go to NVIDIA control panel, and do the following steps.
Next search for game mode and enable it. Now that we have full power of our PC let's check the game. Make sure you set the graphics settings to its lowest for smooth gameplay. But I want the graphics so I'm going to set it to high. One thing is cleared is. 1 GB GDDR5 is enough for this game, it's running on high settings, if you have 1 GB or more than 1 GB GDDR5 memory, then enjoy the game, and don't forget to get full power of your PC, also to everyone make sure you guys subscribe my channel, so that you will never miss more gaming and tech videos like that. Now that we are clear on that, let's check DDR3 card. Now I'm going to add AMD Radeon HD 7470, it's 1GB DDR3 64-bit graphic card, 1GB is good you know, but DDR3 and only 64-bit. Let's try to run it on this card. I'm going to run it on lowest settings. And we have the answer. WWE 2K19 right now is not well optimized. And one thing is also I want to make sure is, you have to get at least any Core i series processor for this, if not i series then at least go with Core 2 Quad series, lower than that will not give you good performance even, if you add a high end GPU. So to play this game you have to add a 1GB GDDR5 graphic card and you are good to go. And there is no other trick to play this game smoothly. Guys don't forget to subscribe to support me and, like this video if you like it. If you have anything to say. Feel free to comment down anything, thank you guys for watching keep supporting.